hello friends today in this tutorial i'll be showing you that how basically we can design this password strength meter form validation inside your angular 14 application so you can see in many website you have seen this validation so where they want to check the st strength of the password inside the input field so as you type the password here you will see in the bottom side this password strength meter is there and as you increase the length of the password the color changes and it now is a very secure password it is a green password if you now decrease the length here you will see basically the progress part the password strength meter decreases so it's a very weak password so as you write more characters it changes it increases the strength so we will be designing this input field guys this is basically uh, material password st strength meter and we are using a special module for this application so if you go to npmjs.com and if you just search for this module which is ngx st strength meter this is basically the module that we are using here and it's a angular widget library which allows you to check the st strength of the password inside the input field and uh, I have written a complete blog post in the description of this video. If you want to get all the source code, you can go to the description of the video to get all the source code. So now basically inside your Angular project, guys, you just need to install this module, which is npm i ngx dash strength dash meter. And then also for this, guys, we also need the Angular slash forms library as well i think so you just need to install this library i have already done that so i will start this ng surf so this will start my angular application so i will delete all the source code and start from scratch so inside your app.module.ts file guys we will add the code here so just go to your app.module.ts file and right here guys we just need to import something so here we just need to import basically first of all the forms module and also we just need to import the reactive forms module reactive forms module and this is basically imported from at the rate angular slash forms and then basically guys we also need to import the browser animation module browser animations module and this will be coming from at the rate angular slash platform browser slash animations and then we also need to import basically from ngx strength meter and from this we just need to import the strength meter module and also we will need basically the input field which we can simply import from at the rate angular slash material and this basically contains a input field here and inside this we can import that mat input module and lastly guys we also need the card module as well so mat card module and this we can import this at the rate angular slash material slash card that's all so now we all need to import it inside the import side so forms module reactive forms module browser animations module strength meter module mat input so we can see we have imported all these inside the import array so that this is all that you need to do inside app.module.ts so simply close this file and write inside your uh, let me delete also this code here So right inside your app.component.html file guys basically we will have 
inside we will have basically the header class and inside this we will simply say here inside uh, the center position we will simply say here ngx strength meter and basically inside this guys we will have uh, basically a m material card module material card content so i think we just need to surround this inside mat card basically it's a card element material card element and inside this we have this material card content element and here we will have our form element guys where we will be displaying the password field here so inside the form here we just need to attach this directive which is form group so that we can target this form inside typescript code we also need to give it a name to this form form and here we will be having an input field which we need to surround this inside mat form field so it's a material input field guys similar to google and uh, we need to give it a style the width will be 100% and basically this will be a simple input field and name basically here will be password and placeholder will be enter password and we also need to give it a type parameter so here we can only write password here so the characters will not be visible and here we will be attaching a class to it which is mat input so it's a material input class here and uh, we also need to give it the form controller name form control name is equal to password so also guys we just need to close this input field so if you now close this guys and if you check your browser if you see property form doesn't exist on type app component so for this guys for doing this we just need to go to your app.component.ts file and here basically we just need to declare a variable which is form and which is of the type form group so form group we just need to import this at the very top you will see it is imported from at the rate angular slash forms so if you just refresh here you will now see an input field here of uh, it's a material input field if you refresh here if you just click inside this so now it changes to material one and you can type your password here and uh, now if you want to remove this uh, border here you can even remove the border here you just need to basically add some styling to it so just go to your and here we will be replacing a simple div here uh, but before that after that you return this input field guys we will be showing a strength meter so this is basically the directive guys which is strength dash meter and it takes basically uh, attributes which is value so what value we start so this will take the value of uh, the password form dot value dot password and also guys this will have a callback function or you may say attribute which is uh, major major so whenever you write something inside this password this function will automatically execute on strength change and here we will pass the actual value inside this which is at the rate event so that's all guys we need to define this on strength change inside your typescript code here and also we need to define ng on in it so whenever our component loads for the very first time we just need to implement uh, on in it 
so we just need to initialize this form this dot form this dot fb and here we just need to pass this constructor and inside this we will pass this fb variable which is of the type form builder so this form builder will be imported you will see that guys and here we will be initializing we will group this inside this we will pass the password field and uh, here we will have a simple validator so if the user hasn't written anything inside the part password field then we will have basically the validators dot required this is the most basic validation so the user must fill out this field and uh, also we just need to define this function on strength change so whenever you write something here a console log message will be there with the score if you now see basically now at the bottom side you will see a strength meter is there and now if i type something here you will see that the score changes and also inside inspect element you will see the score messages you will see basically the score here if i now refresh you will see nothing is there as i now write score is zero now score becomes one now becomes two now it becomes three and it becomes four you will see that so now this is four is the maximum score and zero is the minimum score so this is basically the password strength meter guys which changes from zero to four and basically this is the password meter that we constructed in angular 14 it's a material input field which we translated into the password strength meter so if you like this video guys then please hit that like button all the source code is given in the description of the video i've written a complete blog post and i will be seeing you in the next video